Hey everyone, um, it's been a very long time since um, I last posted a video and I have to apologize because getting my laptop back took a lot longer than expected, but on the upside we can uh, pick up where we left off because uh, I didn't need to replace my laptop, so let's uh, get back to it. Uh, we're going to be doing the British Grand Prix today in Aintree, I have never raced on this track before so it should be interesting. Um, this is the driver standings as they were last time. We are 10 points ahead of, of Lotus second place in this island. Um, and Olivier uh, Genderbian and Cliff Allison from Ferrari are tied in third. Um, obviously the Coopers are, are taking uh, taking a, a good lead at the moment, but we've got a problem with uh, our top speed. So Ferrari will catch us most likely on the uh, tracks like Monza and, and, and that where the straights are a lot longer and they're able to do that so um, I'll be back after the qualifying alright <clears throat> welcome back um, as you can see we qualified very very well um, I uh, qualified about 9 seconds faster than my teammate Jack Brabham which is very very alarming um, I may need to up the difficulty I think um, but we'll just see how the race goes, and if the race goes exceedingly well, then I'm going to just put a little bit more difficulty on this because um, I just don't want to be running away with the race so easily. And if I'm nine seconds faster, I mean that's just ridiculous. So uh, let's get to the race. Ferrari's behind us there. The lights there on our left. The lights are out and away we go. We have Jack Rubin there. Oh, and the Ferrari taken off. They are very fast in the straight line, as you know. Um, it's actually crazy how fast they are sometimes. They cannot take corners. It's ridiculous. They are not able to turn a corner. Uh, it's like as soon as they approach the corner, as soon as they get to the corner, the corner just throws them off. Um, it's like they've got no grip whatsoever. It's crazy. And on that note, I'm about two seconds ahead of Jack Brabham, which is ridiculous. We're in the same car. Um, so I've made my decision. I'm, I'm definitely up in the difficulty. Um, oh, well, he was catching me before, but um, he was knocked off the track by uh, a rogue Ferrari there. Um, I think uh, we'll have to watch out for those Ferraris. Because uh, there'll be tracks like Monza where there's not many turns and they'll just be straights. But um, these cars uh, seem to have better race pace than I do. Uh, and I'm, I seem to have very good qualifying pace. I think that's got to do with the fact that I use a qualifying compound um, during qualifying. Um, and they may or may not. So I think perhaps I will just use the soft compound from now on in, in qualifying to try and make it a bit more even. Because uh, I want the race to be a bit more representative of, you know, you know what the cars are actually like in terms of performance and cornering and all that kind of stuff. This is my favourite section of the track. I've only done a handful of laps, but I do really like those kind of, you know, weavy sections where you've got to be precise. Um, as we come through the first lap, we've got Dan Gurney behind us, the American. Um, he will eventually have his own American team, um, but I don't think that's until the early 60s. Um, that's another thing, I, I don't, um, ah, a bit wide there. Um, I don't, um, study, uh, the next season. Um, I like to try and, uh, I, I mean, I, I already know basic, like, I know basic facts stuff, because um, I don't want the, the knowledge of, 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 of future seasons to influence my uh, choices in, in terms of like what team I go to, etc. Um, and, um, and so that's why I am, um, uh, so I, I won't generally research the season until I've already picked my team. Um, and um, it, 
it's it's only then that I sort of get an idea of sort of where that car is uh, compared to the rest of the field. But I, I don't know whether this game, um, particularly this mod, uh, Valpass 75 one C mod, one challenge mod, uh, recreates the, the performances of the cars, you know, faithfully or not. Um, I'll probably have to ask him. Um, <coughs> And yeah, this race has just been very easy. The cars have just been going off the track. Um, and this is just going to add to another uh, easy race win, assuming I don't have like a mechanical failure or anything. We have like three Ferraris already in the pits because they've retired, um, which is a lot of Ferraris. Um, there's no point in having a fast, straight line car if the car can't stick to the track enough to, to get around a corner. Um, those Ferraris did very well on Indianapolis, so... We're, um, we're very good around the corners. Cooper's got a lot of grip uh, compared to the other cars. Doesn't have an, an amazing top speed, but uh, unlike the Ferraris here, the, it's not, you know, it's not struggling to get around corners as much. But they've got just no. I think they their rear wheels spin and just they go out of control. Um, so it's no good for Ferrari, unfortunately. But see, I, I definitely would want a car that's good around corners because I, I, I think that's where I make up most of my time anyway. Because I have a sort of a precise way of dealing with corners, assuming that I don't make a mistake. So, let's see, let's try. so I, could, I do a lot of planning, and I, I, sh I know sort of where I'm going to break and where I'm going to turn, and I, I essentially just repeat it lap after lap. So yeah, that was a very easy race. Hopefully the next one um, isn't that easy in comparison. Because that was very, very, very easy. And it started to rain there right at the very end of oh, time. Oh. Yeah, it started to rain there at the very end. That could have made things interesting. Yeah, I just think things went my way in this race. I don't really think particularly that I have um, an advantage, but I will sort of up the difficulty a little bit um, just to sort of you know, make it a little little more difficult. I would like my teammates to be up there with me. And I would like it to be a bit closer, so... So... Um, Go, continue. Oh, my car is out of control. Alright. So there's the results. It's several DNFs for the Coop team, actually. It wouldn't surprise me if they were taking out by those Ferraris. Um, so that may be the reason I wasn't, um, you know, really challenged by anyone, because um, Roy Salvador is in an Aston Martin and not. They're not particularly fast. So, yeah, they're the constructors and driver standings. Next race will be in Germany. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get straight to the next video. And um, I'll see you guys in a sec.